Hi, Charlie at Midwest Race Cabinets. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put the winch in and uh, where your fair lead goes and some simple instructions on your winch box. Um, what we got here, this is, uh, this is a worn uh, VRX 4500 pound winch with a synthetic rope. This is one of the winches that we sell. Um, there's other winches that you can get out there. What these are is they're, they're actually an eight ATV style winch um, and that's what our boxes are made to hold. This, like I said, this is a 4,500 pound winch. This will haul virtually any car in and out of an enclosed trailer or an open trailer uh, that you'll need to do. Um, simply, the winch has just got four holes that are tapped into the bottom of the blocks there. And our uh, winch boxes already have all the holes, everything in there, in there for, for it to go. You'll simply just put the winch into the box, like so, and it'll bolt through. There's a stiffener plate on the outside here. There's another eighth inch plate on here. And you'll just simply bolt through here and bolt your winch down inside your box. With that put in there, the next thing you'll do is you'll put your fair lead on now for the rope one, uh, it uses a smooth fair lead like this. Um, for the cables, it'll have the roller fair lead, which will bolt on there also. Um, you can put the, the fair lead on the inside of the fair lead holder, or you can put it on the outside of the fair lead holder, and then your rope will run through here, and then your hook will be on there. So when this folds up like so, it'll be coming out flat, and you'll be able to uh, hook onto your car. Like I said, it doesn't matter um, which way that they go on. You can put it on the inside or the outside. Now, if you go to put another uh, winch in, um, they will fit in ATV winches. Some of the smaller winches will have a smaller drum on it up here. The fair lead will be a little bit narrower, so you probably would have to redrill the holes right here but it will still fit in there because they're, they're about an inch or so narrower some of them for like some of the 2500 pound winches um, but it will still work you'll still you'll just have to drill some holes in to put your fair lead in there uh, there's enough room in the box where you can put your solenoid in the box itself you can put it in here or you can put it on the side or you can put it with the battery itself and you can leave this all open and make it a nice clean look on the inside um, once you have your solenoid put in place, you'll run your wiring. Your wire will run from there to your solenoid, and then the power wires will go through. On each side of the winch box, there's uh, 7 8 inch holes, and we have plugs to plug them up if you don't use the one side or the other. But if you use that and you'll want to run your cables out, and then we got some uh, grommets to hold your cables so they don't uh, fray on the end of the box. <coughs> One of the other options that we sell, this is just a wireless uh, winch remote. They're really easy to install, guys. If uh, you just use your, your red, we'll go to your red terminal on your solenoid. The black is the, is the ground, and that'll go to your ground on your solenoid. And then different winches have different solenoids, but this particular one, and most of them, they'll have your three terminals out here, and you'll hook... Your yellow will go to one of the outside terminals. That'll probably that'll be like your in, and then the, the white will go on the other side of your terminal, uh, on the other side here, and that'll be your out. And then the blue wire on that is just an antenna. So the real simple to hook up. You hook that up, and then you have a wireless uh, remote for your wind system. You'll just simply do an in and out. You can stand next to the car, bring it in, you can, you can push it in, and it'll feed your car right in your trailer for you. Um, so for this option, or any of our other options, check us out online at MidwestRaceCabinets.com.